Hey, hello all you beautiful people out there in the real estate world. Today's gonna be actually a juicy topic. That's right, I said juicy. It's gonna be a juicy topic because this one's gonna hit the nuts and bolts as to how you should prepare, listen to this keyword here, prepare for your real estate listing. Rule of thumb is this, if you list, you last. What does that mean? It means that if you start getting these listings, get your license and start getting listings, you'll have a nice long career because eventually these listings, what? Right, you put buyers in it and eventually what? The buyers wanna sell. It becomes a nice long lucrative career. So the key here is get listings. But hell, how do you prepare for these listings? Ready? Now here we go. Let's assume the situation arises to where a seller contacts you and says, hey, Mr. Agent, Mrs. Agent, I'd like for you to come on over to my house. I'd like for us to discuss possibly me hiring you to be my agent to sell this beautiful house. So you get excited. You're gonna have an appointment with them, I don't know, at noon this Saturday, and you're getting a little nervous, you're getting excited. Who knows what thoughts are going through your brain, but first things first, you have to be ready. It's like a first date, you have to be ready. But what does that mean? Number one, I want you to be prepared. What does that mean? I want you to uh, study this house that you're gonna go pay a visit. Now, how do you study a house? I want you to pull comparables. You got it? Pull comps. I want you to, I want you to prepare a CMA. Now, what the heck is a CMA? CMA, a comparative market analysis. So now what you're gonna do is this. You're gonna start preparing documents. Number one, CMA, comparative market analysis. Next thing I want you to do is this. I want you to prepare a seller's net sheet. I want you to prepare the actual, an actual uh, itemized uh, costs for a seller. And based on what you're gonna price that, what is he gonna walk away with? They love this. This is very, very crucial. I also want you to include in this document some of your marketing techniques, man. Show them a, I don't know, a sample of a flyer. Show them a, a sample of, of a magazine that you might possibly put this listing into. Make sure that you show them that you got this covered, that you know what you're doing. Now, why? Because this leads to confidence. That's number two. I want you to have confidence. You have yet to show up to that front door and I want you to smother yourself with confidence. If you're prepared, like we just discussed, you're gonna be completely confident. Ah, confidence is the name of the game, man, because that confidence uh, aura is gonna be all over you when you show up at that front door and you knock and you say, hello, Mr. Seller, my name is Mr. and Mrs. Agent. We had an appointment to discuss selling your house. They're gonna feel it in your, in your aura. That confidence is gonna be all over the place, in your voice, on your face, and it's gonna make the seller feel extremely comfortable. And that's the name of the game. Making your client what? Yeah, comfortable. You with me? You're confident, they're comfortable. Now you're in. You get in that door. What are you gonna do? You sit down casually, right? Don't forget you're prepared. When you're prepared up here and know all the data, you're confident. They're comfortable, you're halfway there. Now you're gonna discuss this data. You with me? Here's the key here. Pay attention, here's the key. You're gonna discuss this data. Now, a lot of people just simply discuss it. They read the story, they read the story, they tell it in black and white. Mr. Seller, Mr. Seller, this is this, this is that, and we're gonna do this. I want you to take it one step further. I want you to be ready, here it comes. I want you to be clear. Now, what the hell does that mean, clear? I want you to be thorough. Most people would say this. If the seller asks, well, what is escrow? Most people would say, well, escrow is a neutral third party that will take care of the transaction. It's enough, it's a definition, but is it good? It's not, even, it's not even good, it's average. I want you to be great. I want you to tell them escrow is a neutral third party that will take care of this transaction via they're gonna take care of the form, they're gonna take care of the contract, they're gonna take care of all the monies. Money's involved for the seller, money's involved from the buyer. They're gonna take care of the title, title situation, they're gonna take care of the NHD. They're gonna make sure this entire package is complete before we close the deal, yada, yada, yada. That's called being thorough, and that's what makes you great, not average. So it's extremely important to be clear and thorough so that the seller understands all the items in the contract and everything that you're talking about. Are you with me? It makes complete sense. That being said, how do you prepare for a listing? Number one, let's review this one real quickly. Number one, I want you to be prepared, meaning have all your documentation, all your data here ready to rock and roll. Number two, I want you to be confident. And that means I want you to feel good, I want you to look good, I want you to smell good, I want you to be ready to rock. Confident, you can do this. Number three, I want you to be clear, meaning be concise, be thorough, make them understand exactly what this is all about. That's what's gonna make you great, being a great, great communicator. Got it? Good. Listen, listing presentations, man, these are like a first date. This is like going into a job interview. Make a heck of an impression, confidence, preparation communication. It's all there for you. You just got to go out and make it happen. All right. Hey, listen, I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions regarding listings, don't hesitate to reach out. Hey, do me a favor. If you like this video, please 
take a second, one second, go down there and push that like button. We'd highly appreciate it. Have a great day. We'll see you next week with another fantastic video.